Hello, sports fans. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus. I bring you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the Carolina Panthers taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates each and every time we have breakdowns here at Sports Choice Plus. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Looking at the Carolina Panthers coming in, they are undefeated after picking up a big win over the Houston Texans. And you're looking at the Dallas Cowboys bouncing back and getting a win against the Philadelphia Eagles. And you're looking at how they performed on Monday night. I just want to say this. Dallas looked impressive. That offensive line is blocking. One thing I want to start looking at, Pollard is starting to look more impressive than Ezekiel Elliott. When you look at just what he's doing on the ground and his burst, uh, ever since Zeke got paid, he has not been the same running back. He has not been the explosive guy that we thought he was years ago as a rookie. So he's he's definitely not taking, he's not hitting the holes with the same fervor. He's not attacking the defensive line the same way he did at one point in time. It's just a different feel. But Pollard looks hungry. Pollard is starting to perform and starting to get on the field a lot more. And I want you all to start noticing that because I could see a Dez Bryant situation where they go to Zeke and say, hey, we need you to take a pay cut. And that could spell the end for Zeke in Dallas. I'm just telling you, throwing it out there uh, in this football game. You're going to have to see a heavy dose of Zeke. The Carolina Panthers defensive line, that front four, does have the power to put pressure on it. I know that they did make a trade this week with the Jags to get a cornerback to help with J.C. on Horn not being there. But Carolina with Sam Darnold, you have to hit uh, more receivers other than Robbie. Like, literally, I know Anderson can get up there and run the football after he catches it on the wide receiver position, but you have to get more people involved. You got to get DJ Moore involved. I know no Christian McCaffrey right now, but this team has to be more than just Christian McCaffrey. When he's not in the football game, their offense seems to struggle a little bit. I want to see them pick up the pace against a team like Dallas and really move the football up and down. Dallas's defense is not the best in the league. It's not anywhere close to it. But you can make plays against Dallas. Sam Darnold, stand in the pocket, stand tall, and you can get you can get some pretty good throws down the field against Dallas. The, the big thing is Dak. Will he have success against his Carolina Panthers defense? They're opportunistic, but they do run and they finish off their uh, their tackles extremely well. They don't allow a, a lot of yak. So that's one thing to look at. Um, I think Dak is going to be the X factor in this game. Sam Darnold is going to get his, but Dak, what Dak does and how he does it in his football game is going to be huge. And I want to see if they can take advantage of the big mistakes that are possibly made by either side. Um, but I do pick Dallas to win this football game. I do understand the Carolina Panthers are undefeated right now, but they haven't really faced a team that's competitive like Dallas on offense yet. And I think that their defense will get shell-shocked just a little bit. Um, and I think the Dallas can put up points very quickly through the air. So I'm picking the Dallas Cowboys to win this one. All you can on the Panthers fans, all you Dallas Cowboys fans, get in the comment section and tell me what you think of my prediction. And as always, we thank you so very much. Check us out next week, and we'll see you on the next video.